Hi everyone, it's Reed and Avery. We're live with Green Corner News. Green Corner News here on the Green Corner. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about, do a little channel announcement, something a little different today. Um, as you, if you have been following our channel, you would see, you would have seen that last week we teased our Hell House LLC to the Abaddon Hotel deep dive teaser. Um, the Hell House video was our first video on the channel, by far our most popular and Many of you watching and subscribed to the channel came to us through that video and we have been requested by many of you to watch the rest of them, to go explore the remainder of the Hell House series because there's now four of those films. Um, clearly they have a big following, a big love. So you may have noticed that video uh, has not come out. So we are, we are facing copyright issues. The video has been copyright claimed, um, which is not something new to us or anyone doing videos like us. If you're a YouTube content creator, that uses clips from movies like we do, you run the risk of it in copyright claims. But for all our other videos, we've been able to get around it by shortening the clips, re-editing the video, reaching out to the copyright holder and, you know, pleading our case and having them lift the claim. Uh, so we've been pretty lucky to get around it. Not the case with Hell House 2, unfortunately. We we cannot get around the, the copyright claim. We have put up about a dozen different edits of the video. None of them have passed the copyright. We've reached out to the distributor personally and through YouTube and haven't gotten a response. So we're in the unfortunate spot where we can't show the video. The video is both demonetized and can't be viewed in Canada or the US, which is where most of you fine folks are from. So basically we can't put it on YouTube in its current state. So we have some options. Um, we obviously could put it on YouTube without clips. But we don't really like that. It's, uh, the deep dive videos I think work because we are showing clips from the movie, reactions, the things we're talking about. It's a very important supplement and if we chat about a scene and can't show the clip, the video doesn't work and we tried to, to do the deep dive with no clips in, in editing and it doesn't look good. We're not happy with it. And uh, we want to do it justice. You deserve that, exactly. you fine fans of ours. So it's not, we don't want to put out an inferior product or something we're not proud of. It also could be the first video someone sees on our channel and then they'll be like, this sucks. And we don't want that either. So we thought about this long and hard and chatted about it. And what we're going to do is as of the time this video comes out, you can go watch the full Hell House to the Abaddon Hotel deep dive for free on our Patreon. We are going to start a Patreon with the express purpose <laughs> of uploading our Hell House video in its totality, um, the original cut, so that all of you can go watch it. We're at a point where we've talked about doing Patreon in the future, it's something we'd like to do at some point. We're not at the point where we would have done it by choice. Um, I think you need a certain body of work and you know, you need to be able to offer real value to, to your patrons through premium content behind the scenes. And we're still just kind of establishing ourselves on YouTube. So it's not the time we would have picked to go on Patreon. And to be clear, we have no interest in your money right now and no plans in accepting your money anytime particularly soon. This yeah. will be a totally free Patreon yeah. uh, for the foreseeable future. Yeah. Um, but we hope you'll come check it out. Yeah, we have all our episodes up there and we will, as of the time this airs, have the new Hell House 2 deep dive up there. So the link is below. You can go watch it. You can click the link and watch it right now. We may explore doing Patreon in the future with premium content and offering paid tiers. We're not there today. It's just free. You can go watch it. Um, this is obviously not an ideal scenario. We're making the best of a bad situation. We would love for it to be on YouTube because we would love to bring the growth to our channel. It's better for all of you. It's easier to watch. But the most important thing is that it's available somewhere for those of you that support us and support the channel that you can go watch it. So it's up now. Go check it out. Sorry this is the position we're in, but that's just the reality of the situation. Let us know your thoughts and how the Patreon experience went. Um, we're open to exploring other platforms as well. We're kind of figuring all this out, but this is what we're trying for now. And we do hope that you'll go check it out. Yes. And I will play us out today with the first eight or so minutes of our Hell House 2 deep dive, which is basically all of our first thoughts and impressions before we get into the meat of it. Um, basically the section of the video that doesn't have clips from the movie. We'll play it here kind of as a little teaser. And if you like what you see, you can check the rest of the video out on Patreon right now. I'm excited to see what I thought of it. Me too.
Hello. Avery. Who? We're back. We're back. We're back with an old friend. We're back where it all began. We are back where it all began. For anyone who may not know, this whole channel, this whole little shin shindig that we do here, our very first episode, we watched Hell House LLC. We did. I remember. I remember. We both liked it a lot. It was a movie that I have watched every Halloween since I found it. I was a huge fan. Um, we really enjoyed it, and it kickstarted this whole channel. And that video is by far our most viewed and popular video. It's not even particularly close. Like and all we, the other videos combined. <laughs> yeah, don't even amount to uh, to Hell House. It's it's a it's it's the clear fan favorite. And we listen to you. We listen to you, our fans, that you just want to hear about Hell House. You don't care about movies. You just care about that old Abaddon Hotel. That's it. And uh, we got a <laughs> lot of comments on that video saying like, you gotta go check out the series. You gotta. Because this Halloween, they released the fourth one, and next Halloween already is like apparently a development, the fifth one. So they're not going away. No. And there's a lot of them to watch, and apparently, because we went through some conspiracy theory stuff on the last one about <clears throat> some potential plot holes, and people are like, no, you gotta watch more because they answer your questions. And they do. They and they do. It. Alex had to make a sacrifice. He had to sacrifice a girl, people, in this place for some reason. And I haven't wrapped my head around all the parameters, but. So we went back to it. How are we gonna start with this? <laughs> I guess we just go with some first takes. I guess so. Um, Give me your first take. What do you think of turn? Hell House 2, the Abaddon Hotel TM? No, I don't wanna make anyone upset. <laughs> okay. And I, and I do feel a little badly. Right. I do not think this is a good movie. Okay. I think <clears throat> this is actually a pretty bad movie. Um, but I had a lot of fun watching it, <laughs> um, which is weird. We'll get into it. It, I feel like it was, it failed basically everywhere the first movie succeeded for me. Interesting. However, the thing I got to say, I want it to be all bad. I think this is not a very well-made movie for a lot of different reasons that we'll get into, but I had a lot of fun watching it and I want to watch the rest of the series because... Oh my God, did they go for it. Yeah. And even though I feel, I guess to, to put a thesis on my first takes, <laughs> I think this movie failed in execution, but its heart was in the right place. It was. It did not try to sell out and do the cheap horror sequel thing that every other franchise would do, which is like, let's just do pump out an easy, quick next one to make some money. They really tried to do something different and unique and cool and kind of like challenge some of the, the cons, I don't know, just the... It tried to do something genuinely different in the horror space and kind of take a weird meta angle and do all this stuff. I don't think it worked at all, but I really respect them for going for it and it made me interested in watching it. Like, it kept me hooked even though I didn't think it was particularly well done. So that's my first take and I do feel badly because I really wanted to like this more. Um, I just have to be honest with myself and I also, I don't feel too badly because if I'm, I, I'm gonna watch them all. I, right. At this point, I'm gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna watch all these movies. And I do suspect this could easily be the low point. I think I've heard some very good things about some of the other ones. So we'll see, but that's my first takes. I don't know if that's surprising to you, but how do you feel? I'm gonna start, the, you know, a little bit negative, I think fair. I'm gonna start with a positive, which is that I was more scared watching this movie than I was watching Hell House 1. Wow. I, I will say right now that the spooks were more effective for me in this one. There's a few different reasons for that I think I can talk about. I think it is also probably personal. Um, and given that that's a lot of what this movie's setting out to do, I gotta give a lot of credit for that. For, for achieving a spooking level with me that I did not think it was going to. I think a lot of parts of this movie, objectively, are just much worse than the first one. Yeah. A lot of them kind of fell away. I think the move, this movie did an admirable job of high highs that were not really affected for me by the low lows because boy, there are some low lows. Yeah. So I really enjoyed this and I, I would tell anyone who liked the first one to watch this that it's not quite as good, but that you may like certain parts as much or more. And I also want to say that coming out of this going, that's about how I remember feeling after the first one. Some parts were worse, some parts were, a lot of parts were worse, some parts were as good or better. Because I kind of had a neutral take, I immediately knew that you hated this or it was your favorite horror movie ever recorded. <laughs> there was no way we were going to have the same take. That was no, impossible. So no, I'm glad I knew, we did that. I knew, I thought you were going to like it less than me. So I'm very interested that you actually 
seem to like it more. This does feel weird. This is a weird position this for us to be This is a weird in. position. I'll say this. I think the scares are the best point of the movie. So there's some, like, <clears throat> there's a point in the movie where I was like, I'd basically given up on the plot aspect of it entirely, and I was oh, just it was like, like three minutes in when the reporters are talking yeah. to the laptop. But I was, but even once that had happened, there were still good scares. Yeah, there was good scares throughout. Um, I don't think it was scarier than the first one. I'm very <clears> surprised <throat> you felt similarly than than after watching the first movie, because to me it was like night and day. Like okay. it was like why I, like I would have <clears throat> thought this was a different different writer director. We should note it's the same writer director. Which is, I think, why I'm, I'm so surprised at my reaction and the way I felt about it and, like, disappointed almost. Okay. Because, um, I don't know, I think maybe if he'd done more of the same, I would have <clears throat> liked it more. I appreciate the balls to do something very different and kind of go for it like he did, and I'll get into that. But I do feel like they failed to execute. Um, and I also think, I think every performance in the movie is bad. Okay. Which really hurt it for me. Um, yeah. And that was probably the biggest difference maker with the first movie. But 